Okay, good morning. Uh, magandang umaga po and welcome to our presentation. So, our topic today is to define uh, at alamin natin kung ano yung ICT proficiency examination. So, ICT proficiency examination is a examination designed to evaluate the competence of an individual to perform programming or systems analysis and design functions. So this is PERSO 1 to PD1408, which directs the National Computer Center, NCC now the DICT, and the Civil Service Commission to devise ways of determining the fitness of individuals in occupying highly technical ICT positions and through which awarding the appropriate ICT EDP specialist eligibility, which will be based. So NCC and civil service therefore conduct tests in the area of computer programming. So yung ICT proficiency examination po before uh, exam is related to computer programming and the other one is systems analysis and design. But for now, it's more focused on computer programming. So it is a process in which used to assist or evaluate the competence of an individual. No. So kung ang IT, BSCS, BSIT courses doesn't have a board examination. So one way na ma-measure yung competence ng graduate or a professional in programming, mas maganda yung mayroon siyang certification or competency exam through ICT proficiency exam given by the DICT through Civil Service Commission. So, ang DICT ICT proficiency examination is under the Department of Information and Communication Technology through their ICT Literacy and Competency Development Bureau or ILCDD. So, ano naman po yung civil service eligibility will be granted to successful examinees. So, kung mapasa mo yung ICT proficiency examination, you will be granted with eligibility through civil service. So, ano yung eligibility na ibibigay? So, the EDP, Specialist Eligibility or EDPSE, shall be conferred to passers of the proficiency test or passers of the training courses conducted by the DICT through the National ICT Competency Management Service on courses on systems analysis and design and computer programming granted pursuant to civil service resolution number 90 so 083 dated january 22 1990 so meaning if you pass the ict proficiency exam pwede kang mabigyan ng eligibility through this special eligibility ng civil service or tawag nila is edp is e so ano positions na maari mong apply yan if you pass the it proficiency examination so the ADPSA shall be considered appropriate only to functionally related positions belonging to the information technology management information systems group such as data encoder, data machine operator, auxiliary machine operator, data encoder controller, computer programmer, information systems analyst, information technology officer 1 and 2, and other IT related uh, plantilla positions in the government. Uh, determined by Civil Service Commission. So, merong mga hiring yung sa military or sa PNP, Army, uh, Philippine Navy, in line with recruitment for IT uh, personnel. So, ma malaking chance mo makakapasok or makakuha ng ganitong mga plantilla positions if you pass the ICT civil, uh, the IT ICT proficiency examination. So, at least po, na, nakapagbigay ng kaalaman sa inyo uh, paano, ano yung ICT proficiency examination at anong equivalent nito for, for Civil Service Commission. So, hanggang sa muli po, uh, abangan nyo, mayroon pang mga kasunod na video in line with the ICT proficiency examination. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig at pagtangkilik sa video ito. See you and hopefully makapasa kayo sa uh, ICT proficiency exam na kukunin nyo for the incoming days. Maraming salamat.